we need to take a step back and stop being so hard on ourselves. We really do. We think so highly of ourselves because of our ego and our passion and all these things. And we really lose track of like the great moments in life and what got us here and our stories and our successes and what made the big difference for us moving forward, right? We get so caught up in every loss, but we never celebrate every win. And I think that, you know, on days like this, where I'll just come out here on a Sunday, chill and just reflect like, what did you do well this week? What were the things that you did very effectively and you're very proud of? Instead of just looking at loss after loss after loss and letting that over consume your mind, your mind's a very precious thing. It drives all your actions emotionally, physically, financially, whatever, and, 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 and mentally, if I didn't say that. It really does. And if you don't have your mind right, your business won't be right, your money won't be right, the way you navigate and move in this space will never be what you want it to be, okay? We have all these big aspirations, but meanwhile, we're never actually willing to audit ourselves positively. We're always auditing the bad shit that we've done because the losses tend to weigh us down more than the wins because the wins, you get that short-term feeling, you're excited, you're pumped, but not everything in life, you're not gonna win at everything. There's no one out there who has 100% success rate. It is God near impossible. It is impossible to be perfect. There is no one on this planet that is perfect. You're going to fucking lose. It just depends on how you're willing to take that loss. And if you take it as a learning experience and then turn into a positive, you know, reflection point, then your next win is going to mean so much more.